Hey, what's up, guys? Coming with another commentary from Enhanced Gaming. Um, I got this clip recently in the email from EG Psychotic saying that he wanted me to commentate this Team B. Um, he uses a P90 silence or P90 with rapid fire, I think, and pretty much does work, you know. Um, uh, I think he's ranked like 4,000 in kills. Like, it's really something ridiculous. Like, seventh prestige or something. The game's been out for a month. Like, come on, really? But. He's my boy, you know. I'm not going to talk crap about him, even though he lights me up on YouTube. But it's all good, you know, brotherly love. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to talk a little bit about his gameplay and why the hell he's camping right now. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, let's see. Um, thoughts about the P90. Um, I like the P90. Um, it's always been a good gun throughout all the Call of Duties, you know. Um, Mono Fair, Mono Fair 2, Mono Fair 3. P90 has been a solid gun, a good rushing, um, good tactical gun, mobility is really good on it, you run around rush all the time with it, um, depends on your personal preference what you should put on it, like I think he's running kick with rapid fire or something, I don't know, um, I really didn't ask him what he was running on the class and all this, but I know he's running a 3 5 not. 357 with a, a UAV Predator uh, chopper. I think that's probably one of the best perks. I mean, perks, my bad. Best kill streaks that you can use is a 357 because, I mean, preferably in Team D, you're going to get. Uh, I mean, you're not going to get that high of a kill streak without camping, and you're not going to be able to repeat your kill streaks if you do have a high kill streak set. Say you have a Pavlo. I mean, what are the likely likeliness of you getting 12 kills and another 12 kills without dying? It just doesn't make sense to me to run high kill streaks on Team Deathmatch, especially when you need UAV. UAV is like one of the most important kill streaks in the game that you need to have on all your classes, especially when you're running Team B. Because I mean, without that, you pretty much don't know where they're spawning. Um, especially with this this game spawns, they always spawn behind you. Um, to the side of you, you always have to be really aware of where you're at, and I think the UAV really helps out in this game. That's why almost everyone on EG runs it in their pup matches. Watch most of our gameplays, and I'm pretty sure almost every single one we have the UAV on. Um, unless we're running like the specialist class or um, trying to get like a stealth bomber or juggernaut. That's just for like support. That's that's a support. That's totally different. You're supporting your team in your own separate way, and um, there's totally different ways that people run their kill streaks. But mainly the kids that we play with, it's three, five, seven. You know, that's the best way to get points, and you're not stressing out. At, oh, I need one more kill for my AC-130. You know, you're just kind of like going with the flow, and that's what I think makes the three, five, seven like the best kill streak side part of the game. But um, yeah. Um, He's doing work on these guys. I mean, you could see almost every time he's alive, he's getting um, a UAV, which is good. You know, that's that's three kills. You want to keep your kills up and keep getting all the kill streaks that you can. Um, what else? Um, he's definitely playing more of a tactical side than just running and gunning. Um, he definitely sees people on the radar, and he'll wait for him to come get him real quick because. I mean, of course, they're going to have radar, too, especially if they're running support, because all the kids, all you have to do is get three kills, and you have a UAV with no matter how many deaths you have. But he definitely plays a really tactical game style. He likes to go in there, you know, sit back, wait for them to come out of their spawn, and, you know, just something that usually what people would want to do if they can get to that spot. Um, he um, He's really taken a good advantage point of running into where they're spawning and not exactly spawn killing them but like defending his area to where they're not they're not stuck but they're in one area of the map and they're not going to get away from them wherever they're spawning and he you, if you notice he's trying to keep everybody in front of him um notice how he's on the outskirts of the map he's not running through the middle like yeah he runs through the middle but he's not running completely through the middle he works his way to the outside of the map which are good because it takes away that 50% side of where you're gonna get killed 
But anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Another gameplay from Enhanced Gaming. Uh, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe. Do what you do. All right. Later.